Hey guys, right now I'm out in the field trying to get some footage for a film that I'm working on for a local video contest. Now, I won't be able to upload this video onto my YouTube channel, but I'll try to do a little behind the scenes things for you guys at a later point. Now, the purpose of this video is, unless you're new to the channel, you know that I film with the Samsung NX500, and like many Samsung NX users uh, who have an NX1, NX500, etc., we're disappointed with Samsung seemingly abandoning the NX line of cameras. Now, they haven't officially made a statement about this, but considering that they're no longer selling this in retails across Europe, Australia, Canada, and you can still buy the camera on Amazon for the US, but uh, other reputable camera stores like B&H basically have uh, the NX500 as discontinued. So it's definitely looking like it's gone. The silver lining to all this is Samsung released the SDK, the software development kit for the NX1, and the NX500 is basically a mini NX1. So then from there, modders, hackers, and devs in the Samsung community have been working on trying to get more out of the Samsung cameras, like uh, better image quality and the purpose of this video, a unlimited recording time. A lot of cameras when they're released, they have a limit on their recording time. Like for instance, in the case of the Sony RX100 Mark IV, when you're recording at 4K, you only get five minutes to record 4K due to overheating issues. And in other uh, instances, it seems to be tied to a European tax law where they have to put that limit, otherwise they'll be categorized as a video camera versus just a regular DSLR or mirrorless camera. So the only cameras that I know that doesn't have this limit is the Panasonic GH4 and the Panasonic GH3, at least the US versions. And uh, this will make the NX1 and the NX500 have the same ability to record footage with unlimited time, just basically limited by your battery life and your SD card. So this guy Vasily released this very simple mod. All you have to do is open up a text editor like Notepad and just name the file nx underscore dev dot adj and basically make sure when you're saving the file type you clear it from text to all file and then from there when it saves it'll be a dot adj file then in the body of the file all you have to put is smart underscore camera simple save that file put it into the root of your sd card that you put into your camera boot up your camera and then from there, on your camera's menu for the NX500, basically you're gonna press down, which is the ISO button, then you press OK, then you press up, which is the display button, and then you press OK, then you press right, which is the autofocus button, and then from there, you hold the exposure compensation button, and then you press the OK button, release it, and then after you release the OK button, you release your exposure compensation button. From there, you'll see a dev menu pop up. Go to display parameters. So all you have to do is then click on that little tick box next to unrestricting your recording time. And then uh, take off your camera, delete the .adj file from your SD card, put your SD card back into your camera, put on your camera, and then you can have unlimited recording time now there's only one downside doing this on the NX500 versus the NX1. Any resolution size or frames uh, that is not at the 30 minute mark by default from the Samsung firmware. For instance, with uh, recording at 4K or UHD on the Samsung NX500, you're limited to 15 minutes recording or if you're recording at 1080p at 60 frames per second, you're limited to 25 minutes. Those are stuck at those recording times. Now recording at 1080p at 30 frames or 24 frames, those were capped at around the 29 minute, the basically the 30 minute mark. And those, once you've done this, are now unlimited recording times. Now with the NX1, basically everything, every resolution was capped at that 30 minute mark. So if you have an NX1 and you do this, you basically have unlimited recording at any resolution at any frame rate speed. So that's cool. If uh, Vasily, the guy who released this mod, if, he, if he's able to find a way to 
release everything for the NX500, that'd be awesome. But the main one that I'm really looking forward to, that the one that he's working on, is trying to get a higher resolution than 1080p recording at a higher bit rate, so better image quality than what Samsung has previously offered to us and using the full image size sensor. So he's aiming for that 2.5K, that 1440p resolution, which um, if you've checked out my Samsung NX500 review, you'd know that the Samsung NX500 by default, it crops the image recording at 4K or UHD. It doesn't use the full image size sensor when recording at those resolutions. So basically it's not as wide as say when recording at 1080p. So if he gets this all fixed out, then from there you have the full image size sensor when recording with this camera and at a better image quality than previously available from Samsung themselves. So looking forward to that. If he gets this all ironed out and it works great, I'm definitely gonna test it, show you guys how to get it done. Uh, props to Vasily's work and to any all the other modders who are working on uh, and hackers working on these NX line of cameras. Anyways, guys, I gotta get back to work filming for this video that I'm working on. That's it for now, I'm out.